Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday. It is the first day of 2024 and we are meal prepping. We are setting ourselves up for success for the week. If you missed my video yesterday, I shared my 2023 goals update, my 2024 goals, my vision board, and if you saw that video, you know that I am in a cut, meaning I'm trying to lean down a little bit the first couple months of the year. So we are going to prep healthy protein packed food so we can reach our goals. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching, highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come join us. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's head on into the kitchen for a healthy protein packed meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making a roasted sweet potato kale frittata. I'm actually really excited about this. I, one of my goals for 2024 is to get in more vegetables and adding them to breakfast is a good way to start the day. Spinach, kale, those types of things are great to add into your breakfast. So let me show you what you'll need for the frittata. You're going to need salt and pepper, thyme, you can use dried thyme or fresh thyme, minced garlic. I'm going to use fat-free feta from Trader Joe's. The recipe calls for goat cheese. I don't care for goat cheese, so I'm going to sub feta. You'll also need kale, a couple of small to medium-sized sweet potatoes, a red onion, and some eggs. So I chopped up my two sweet potatoes, peeled them and chopped them, added a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to throw these into a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes. We're going to allow those to roast through. And then I'm going to chop up my kale and half of my red onion and we'll get this sauteing down in a skillet. So I added about one and a half cups of chopped up kale, half of that onion chopped up and a big scoop of minced garlic to my skillet sprayed with a nonstick cooking spray. And I'm just going to allow this to cook down. I want that garlic to become fragrant, the onions and the kale to both soften. While the sweet potatoes are in the oven, the kale and onions are softening. In my medium sized bowl, I'm going to crack eight eggs. We're going to add in a little bit of salt and pepper and then I'm just going to mix these together with a fork until fully combined. And then go ahead and set your eggs aside. I have a small baking dish here. You can really use any size. I'm going to go ahead and add my egg mixture to my dish. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of thyme right on top. So I just added my roasted sweet potatoes to my cooked kale and onions. I'm going to stir that together really, really well. And we're going to add that right on top of the eggs. And then we're just going to press that in to the eggs so that it does form a frittata when cooked. I weighed out two ounces of my fat-free feta on my food scale. I'm going to sprinkle that right on top. And then our frittata is going back in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes or until set. All right, the frittata is out of the oven, you guys. This looks so incredibly good. It smells amazing. I love how that feta melted on top. This is going to be such a great breakfast. Veggies, protein, healthy fat. I'm really excited for this. Let me go ahead and pop up here on the screen. Points, calories, and macros, and serving size. For my lunches this week, I'm going to be making a Parmesan crusted tilapia. I've heard that this recipe is amazing and I really want to kind of like vegetables in my breakfast, start incorporating some fish into my week. It's just such a great source of lean protein. So these tilapia fillets I picked up from Costco in the, from Sam's Club in the frozen section and just allowed them to thaw in the fridge. And then I'm going to pair that with a healthy carb with some roasted potatoes and then some green beans for a veggie. So let me show you what you'll need. Like I said, you'll need tilapia fillets. Again, these ones are from from Sam's Club in the frozen section. You're going to need lime juice, panko breadcrumbs, garlic powder,
powder and Italian seasoning, fresh parsley, Parmesan cheese, and salt and pepper. And then I'm going to roast up some yellow potatoes, season those with the Kinder's The Blend. That is so good on potatoes. And then I'm going to have some green beans as a veggie. So let's get started on lunch. So the first thing I'm going to do is pat dry my tilapia fillets, dice, cut up a little bit of fresh parsley and wash and dice up my potatoes. So for the fish, we are going to dredge it in lime juice and a Parmesan panko combination. So I'm going to add half of a cup of panko breadcrumbs and a quarter cup of Parmesan, salt and pepper, And then we're going to add an Italian seasoning and garlic powder. And then just stir that up. And then in a second bowl, we're going to add the equivalent of a, the juice of one lime. We're going to add in our fresh parsley and stir that in with the breadcrumb and Parmesan cheese mixture. And then we're going to take one of our tilapia fillets, dredge it in the lime juice. We want to really coat it in the juice and then we'll dredge it in the breadcrumb Parmesan parsley mixture. Get that nice and coated, basically like a breaded filet. And then we're going to take our filet and place it on a baking dish, a baking sheet sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. And repeat with the other three filets. And here are the Parmesan tilapia fillets. I'm going to set these aside and let's season up our potatoes. So I've diced up all of my potatoes. This is the full three pound bag. I'm going to go ahead and roast them all up. That way Troy can have some as well. When I put together my meal preps, I'm going to weigh them out in grams. So I know how many potatoes are in each meal prep. So I am going to season with the Kinder The Blend. Like I said, this is my favorite, favorite seasoning for potatoes. And to give my potatoes just a quick stir a quick spray with some nonstick cooking spray I'm going to add a good amount of my seasoning and then I'm going to just mix that until the potatoes are coated we're going to add our potatoes to a parchment lined baking sheet and just spread those out in a single layer that way those potatoes get roasted all the way through and they'll get nice and crispy. You could also cook your potatoes in your air fryer. I'm going to add both the potatoes and the tilapia to a 425 degree oven until they are both cooked through. The tilapia is out of the oven. This looks so good. It's nice and crispy coating. My potatoes are still cooking a little bit longer. When those come out, we'll put together our meal preps for the week. Okay, we're going to assemble my lunches. I just pulled my potatoes out of the oven. I have my fish. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide everything out into four servings. So I'm going to add an entire filet. I just went ahead and cut it in half just so that it'll fit a little bit better in my containers. This is so nice and crispy and tender. And then on my food scale, I'm going to weigh out 100 grams of cooked potatoes. That is 100 grams on the nose. I'm going to zero that out. And a serving of green beans is 121 grams or half of a cup. I'm going to do half of that. So about a quarter of a cup of green beans. So we're going to shoot for about 60 grams. All right, so there is my lunch for the week. This looks amazing. Nice, whole, real food, lean protein, a veggie, a good carb. Let me go ahead and put together three more containers. So my 
lunch meal prep is complete. So again, I have four meal preps for the week. This is such a great healthy lunch and it looks and smells amazing. I haven't had tilapia in a while and I'm really excited about it, especially with this Parmesan coating. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for the fish you would add in any other side. So if you do potatoes and green beans, those would be in addition to the information here on the screen, which is just for the Parmesan crusted tilapia. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making gingerbread biscotti. Like I said, in my grocery haul, I wanted to do one more kind of fun holiday recipe. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need light butter, sugar alternative of your choice. This is Lakanto granulated, you already know. It's the one I use all the time, absolutely love. I have a 15% off discount code for Lakanto site-wide. I'll link it down below for you. You'll also need some molasses, flour. Of course, I'm going to use fiber gourmet flour. This has 55% less calories than regular flour. By the way, less than half the points of regular flour. 50 calories per serving with 17 grams of fiber, four net carbs, and five grams of protein. So I love this flour. It is just like regular flour. Performs exactly the same way, even with baking. So it's my go-to. I buy this off of Nutrition, which is the same place that I buy my fiber gourmet pasta, my fiber gourmet crackers, a lot of products. I do have a 10% off discount for Nutrition as well. It'll be down below. You're going to need some yummy gingerbread spices. So cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, salt, three eggs, baking powder, and then I'm going to chop up a little bit of crystallized ginger and put that in the biscotti. That is optional. I think it's going to add a really nice texture and ginger taste. So we're ready to start on our biscotti. So I pulled out a large bowl. I'm going to add one third cup light butter, one cup Lakanto granulated, and three eggs. And we're going to stir this together until mixed. We're adding in one third cup of molasses and then stir to combine. We're adding three and a quarter cups of our fiber gourmet flour, about a half a teaspoon of salt, about a tablespoon of ginger, about a teaspoon of nutmeg, a tablespoon of cinnamon, one tablespoon of baking powder, and for me, I'm going to add in a couple tablespoons of chopped up crystallized ginger and then stir to fully mix. So here's what our dough looks like. I did spray a baking sheet with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to take my ball of dough and try my best just to divide it in half. And then I'm going to roll it out. I want it to be about three-ish inches wide, we want to make a log basically, between eight and 12 inches long. This is what's going to form the biscotti. Press that into place. I think the next one, I'll just form it directly here on the baking sheet. We're going to put our pan in the oven at 375 degrees for about 25 minutes. I just pulled the biscotti out of the oven. I'm going to allow it to cool for about three to four minutes. We'll slice it up and it needs to go back into the oven. I'm going to cut my biscotti loaves in half and then I'm going to cut at an angle. I want to get about five biscottis per half. And then we're going to pop them on their sides so that they can go back into the oven and get nice and crispy like biscotti. So I sliced it up, I turned it on its side, and we're going back into the oven for about six to eight minutes. The biscotti is out of the oven. It smells absolutely incredible. I'm going to let it cool just a little bit. I'll package it up for the week. One side note is it says that you can melt some white chocolate and drizzle it over the top. I'm going to skip that just because this is going to be enough carbs for a treat for me and actually the ginger and the sweetness is plenty, but you do have the option to do the white chocolate drizzle as well. So here are the biscotti. These look so good. They look like bakery biscotti. The ginger is coming in strong, which I'm really, really happy about. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, serving size here on the screen for you. Again, if you decide to drizzle white chocolate over the top, just make sure you're adding in those points and calories. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the healthy food that I prepared for the week. 
I'm really excited for 2024. I'm excited for all of us to reach our goals. Don't forget all of today's recipes are on my recipe website that is linked in the description box, as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!